Greetings, it's Harry and Meghan again today. Have you noticed that they rarely show up together anymore? No, I understand that Meghan has two kids and she's supposed to be taking care of them. But still, sometimes I hear rumors that they are going to be working on projects. The only thing is, these projects will be separate. Earlier, back in the lead up to 2022, the Sussexes' separation and their solo work on separate projects was promised to the world by their faithful cheerleader, Ahmed Scobie. Saying it would allow them to pursue more ideas and generally raise twice as much money separately. We don't get to see this come to fruition until 2023, but so far it's kind of lopsided. If Prince Harry appears in the spotlight regularly and personally, alone, without a supportive public pat on the back from his wife, puffing away at the PR of his memoirs fair, suing the media in the UK home office, and portraying filial joy at his father's coronation, Meghan has lurked. New multi-million dollar projects are supposedly maturing within the walls of Montecito that should eclipse the failure with podcasts for Spotify. Specifically, the revival of Meghan's lifestyle blog The Tig, which should become as popular and profitable as Gwyneth Paltrow's Goop. At the same time, it is reported that Prince Harry has conceived, and Netflix has approved, his project for a documentary about Africa, and he will work on it solo. Really, and why does Harry need an African-American wife here, on 43 just a Nigerian? I don't know why this point is important to everyone. I don't understand why she has to be in this project next to him. After all, they have kids. No one knows how long Harry will be in Africa. If I were her, I'd stay home too and not drag them along. Commenting on the status quo, branding and culture expert Nick Eve told Mail Online that Meghan and Harry may start doing more and more solo projects to avoid the ridicule that has plagued some of their other projects. And public relations expert Mark Borkowski thinks Harry will be responsible for Africa and Meghan for lifestyle and fashion. Let's see. Why do you think Meghan is lurking?